Welcome to Talk Purpose and Truth, shifting you into higher consciousness, a show that elevates, uplifts, and encourages listeners to grow, heal, awaken, and evolve. Eden and Kim include bold topics, interviews with inspiring guests, experts, and celebrities, intuitive readings, channeled messages, mental health awareness, and hot topics to expand your awareness. Tune in for unprecedented truth, authenticity, on-purpose discussions, and magical moments. I know, it's like, um, I think we're up to 135, 140 episodes, so that's pretty awesome. Yeah, and you know, we didn't take very many breaks, I think. I think there were times that like, I filled in for you, or I, you know, someone filled in for you, and vice versa, like we did that a couple times, but we really didn't miss a beat. Yeah, and we only took like a week off here and there, so yeah. it's been pretty consistent for three years, mm-hmm. and very exciting, because it's grown, and it's on every single platform, and it's it's global, so it, what's great about that is just that we get people from Africa, India, Europe, Australia, giving us feedback and comments, and it's just interesting. It's not about how many listens or who's listening, but it's just exciting to know that we're we're reaching that many people and maybe somebody's getting something inspiring out of what our guests are saying or what we're saying and and that's what it's all about yeah and you know we what you figured out the other day was that we had people binge watch or binge listening (laughs) to the show so maybe they liked one episode and then they're like oh i want to hear more so they just kept listening yeah, or regular listeners, and I. Yeah, we want to we want to thank all of you out there for for listening regularly, and you know, binge listening or whatever, and giving us feedback on on how you're liking each show, and the whole point and the purpose of the show is really to inspire, and so if we can inspire or help you heal in some way or just even entertain you, then we're doing the work we're meant to be doing. Yep, and I think um, we've done a really good job of being guided, letting ourselves be guided to the right people and the right topics uh, without trying to force anything. Um, I think we were doing that in the beginning more, but now it's just like more in the flow. Yeah, and I think, you know, starting, it's interesting because starting way back in, it feels even longer ago, but back in 2016, And we started, you know, having prints come in when we were doing our meetings and channeling. And Eden was writing all these messages from prints. And then it turned into transcribing his book word for word that we still have in our hands. (laughs) And and then, which we'll talk about in a second. But then Mm -hmm. I ended up having a session with one of my dear friends, Ursula Menchies. And she's like, wait a minute, I'm getting this intuitive nudge that a podcast a podcast is in your future. You and Eden are supposed to do a podcast, and I'm going, what? I've never thought of doing a podcast. Yeah. Uh, I've, I've even done web series and TV and stuff like that, but I just I didn't know anything about podcasts, and neither did Eden. And we had a planning meeting about it, and I remember at first, I don't know if you remember, Eden, but we were really overwhelmed because it seemed very difficult and technical, mm-hmm. and yeah. we were kind of almost ready to go forget it. Mm-hmm. But then we kept getting these messages. This is what you're supposed to do. This is what you're meant to do. And we're saying, okay. And all of a sudden, thought popped in my head. And I went, oh, I know someone who has a studio. And I think he might do podcasts. And I ended up contacting Scott at Uncle Studios. And he, because I used to rehearse there. And he's like, yeah, oh, I do podcasts all the time. I can show you guys what to do. <laughs> and we and went then, in. Yeah. came together. <laughs> yeah, and then... Um, we also had, I, I'm not going to say the person's name just for privacy reasons, but we had our, a friend who I just got connected to who was working at podcast one. Yeah. A little later had- after we had started. Yeah. And she really, uh, put us on the right path with podcast one basically. And yeah. So shout out to that. And <laughs> And what to do with the marketing and the technology and how to get on every platform and Mm -hmm. all of that important stuff you need to know. Now we're experts at all that. (laughs) (laughs) 
um, and then I, you know, we had COVID hit and we were for a little bit, like kind of freaked out with how are we going to keep recording? Yeah. And then, you know, zoom came about, or I think zoom was still, was already a thing, but I didn't know about it. And then we just made that work. Yeah. And because of thought again, uh, we did in studio and then we did zoom and it's been good with zoom because even though I think in the future, we'll still go back in studio once in a while. Zoom is great because we just had a guest, you know, from Poland and we had another guest Mm -hmm. from Australia in the past and just all over. And so we wouldn't be able to do that if it weren't for Zoom. So it's been really good. And we're still able to put it on our YouTube channel. And we also want to thank Skylar Sutton, Eden's daughter, because she's really elevated our marketing and put us all over social media and gotten our exposure way way up for the show so that's been awesome and yeah. we don't we don't know how to advertise or put posts together as beautifully as she does so yeah. <laughs> we are very grateful to yeah. have her yeah and and one day she'll be doing her own thing which i think we'll talk about with her in another episode um mm-hmm. she's ready to share that and i can't wait um but you know we'll have to find someone else i think soon I don't know. <laughs> we won't talk about that right now. We won't put that out there. She'll she'll figure out time maybe. We'll, but uh, but but going back quickly to the book, we had the Prince book all the way since I think it's been since, since late 2017. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, it got kind of refined, and we've had managers, and we've had pitch meetings, and all kinds of things. We had some well-known people interested in making it a book and publishing it. And, um, we even even had people, the well-known people also not even just the book. They wanted to have, uh, turn it into a a documentary or, or a movie, Mm -hmm. a a Netflix movie was talked about. Yeah. Yeah. Time we keep hitting, we had kept, we haven't, we haven't done anything with it in quite a long time, but we had kept hitting, some sort of roadblock, even to the point of um, having a meeting with ICM Talent mm-hmm. right on the day that a lockdown happened. And Mar- yeah, March 13th, 2020, <laughs> yep. we had our meeting set up with our manager and this agent at ICM. And we were like, we were so excited thinking, okay, this is going to be it. This is how we're <laughs> going to start getting a book deal. And, and then, yeah, it got canceled. Lock- happened. And just things changed in the industry as everyone knows and some things got put on the back burner and we kind of just decided we we had so many almost moments and and you hear that a lot in media anyway we just talked about that with Christine Carlson from Don't Sweat the Small Stuff how she had projects that kept being almost and then it didn't work until finally one hit and so Mm -hmm. we know that's how the industry works and so we kind of just went you know what it's not divine timing right now and so up until recently, we were just kind of focusing on the podcast and our own healing work. You know, we do our own healing work and we, mm-hmm. we do sessions together with clients and we also do separate sessions with clients. And now we're feeling pulled again, like, okay, it's an opening. It's time to see what happens with the book and keep the podcast going, of course. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we're just putting it out there into the universe. Uh, to see what happens. I think it t- it's been, what, how long? Like five years since the book we started, oh, right? Uh, channeling. Started writing it, yeah. yeah. And um, a few years since it's been done. Um, but that whole process, I remember in the beginning just thinking, like, oh, we're going to get it out next year. <laughs> yeah, and- <laughs> I think it's important to say, I don't think we've talked about it in a long time, but the book is actually a book told from after Prince, the artist, Prince Rogers Nelson, after he passed, he um, he transitioned and he started coming through in sessions with Eden and she's channeled many famous people before. And he came through so strongly that we started just because doing sessions with him, not thinking it would be anything of a book. We just wanted to see what he had to say and he guided us and we guided him. It went very deep. And then it turned into him saying, you're going to write my book. And we're like feeling very guided to do so. And so the book is actually 
his word for word explanation of how he sees how his life on earth was from the perspective of him now where he's at now and it's mm. it's very deep and poetic it's it almost reminds me of a course in miracles um mm-hmm. in some ways the way that it it's worded where you know that me and eden could have never figured out how to write this on our own <laughs> <laughs> we're not I that smart <laughs> that way yeah yeah so yeah. It's, it's been a, a privilege and we've been able to connect with a lot of people connected to Prince, including, you know, people that were in his bands and people that work with him, especially all those people that have been on our show that you guys have heard and you can go back and listen to. So that's, it's, Prince has really been the foundation and God um, of our podcast and our work that, that brought us together. Yeah. And we thought that back to what I was saying, we thought the book was just going to immediately get published. Um, What we missed in all of that was it wasn't all about the book being published it was also about our own growth yes and evolution and evolution yes so it's been all these years where for a while we were just trying to focus on publishing the book kind of in a forceful way um not you know unhappy about whatever whatever roadblocks we came across and instead of accepting the the roadblocks as another lesson um, until we finally got to that, we got it. We understood, okay, it's not our timing. It's not what we think it should be or when we think it should be or how we think it should be. It's always going to be us giving it to the universe or to God and knowing that, um, we have, we get to trust and have faith that it'll go the way that it's meant to, um, naturally. Right. Yes. Right. So that's being in the flow of things and letting go. Yeah. Absolutely. And, and enjoying it, you know, enjoying doing the podcast and enjoying working together and seeing what comes about with it all kind of just allowing instead of forcing. Mm -hmm. I think though, it took us this many years to get to that, allowing it and accepting that. Yeah. And being at a level that I think in the beginning, I, for one, was very concerned, which I'm not now, but I was concerned so much about how it would sound or if I looked crazy or yeah. if a you know if it was safe for me because of what family members would think or mm-hmm. people would think about going more into the space of being an intuitive more than I was already and just handling feedback from people and if there has been any negative feedback which we've been blessed that we really haven't had any um and I think that it took those years to evolve to a place where I don't feel an ego about any of it. Thank you for listening to Talk Purpose and Truth podcast. Find out more at talkpurposeandtruth.com and follow us at Talk Purpose Truth on Instagram and Facebook.